Hey guys, it's Ongui and welcome back to my channel and welcome to my lovely freaking mess of a room. So basically it's for today's part of the vlog, I'm gonna be cleaning like bits and pieces around my apartment. Mainly I wanna focus on my room and the living room slash kitchen area. My bathroom closet and den are a mess too, but we just do not have time for all of that today and I get tired pretty easily so I can only do so much. But before you guys drag me in the comments, let me explain why my living space is like this. Basically, I kind of feel like we are all like depressed a little bit like on and off. I guess let me speak for myself. I feel like I'm depressed a little bit on and off so when I have like my depressive episodes or I'm just not feeling life in general, my living space tends to reflect that heavily. I'm gonna show you guys a little bit of what the rest of my apartment looks like but it's basically like a disaster zone. I don't even really know how to explain it. I just get kind of get into the mood where I don't really feel like doing anything. Ordinary tasks are gonna take a lot out of me. Like, like if I wake up and I make breakfast, like that can literally like take me out for the whole day. It sounds ridiculous, but I'll just get so tired after then, especially after I eat. And sometimes if I have a lot on my plate, instead of like doing it and doing little bits of it, I'll sit there and think of all the stuff that I have to do. And then it just weighs on me and then I never get around to doing any of it. But then in my head, it feels like I was doing a lot because I was worrying about all the tasks that I had to do. When I'm in those moods, I feel like I always have something more important to do than clean. So it just like piles on and piles on and I just wanted to be realistic with you guys. I was gonna try and like do a little bit of cleaning before I started cleaning, but it's like, eh, let me just show you guys what it is we're working with because I feel like this is kind of normal. Like, I always get motivated on TikTok to clean my apartment when I see the clean with me, the Sunday reset videos. I love those but um i just feel like their space is kind of already clean before they start cleaning so i wanted to give you a realistic mess before i clean it up and hopefully once i clean my entire apartment i can kind of keep it to a regular level of messy like even if i am in like those depressive moods having my space clean can kind of like help to keep me out of that because you know like when your space is clean i don't know it's just a breath of fresh air for your mind it's just like nice to have your space clean because that can kind of help your mental but the opposite side of that is when your mental is kind of down you don't really want to clean it kind of gets into like a constant cycle which is not good so today i kind of have a little bit of energy and we're gonna get things done today and let me quickly show you guys what the rest of my apartment looks like this is this is kind of an overview of the rest of my apartment and as you guys can see it's mostly closed like I never unpacked from one trip before my Christmas tree is still up this is a box of clothes that I want to donate to a homeless shelter believe it or not my island is not as bad as it was before I like did my dishes a few days ago and then over here down the hallway my den area is a little bit crazy, but it's not too, too crazy. We're not going to get into that today. And then we also have my mess of a bathroom. It just gets crazy with me getting ready, never putting products away, and then like repeating the cycle over and over. And my closet, which is just needing to put clothes and shoes away after like struggling to pick out outfits. Like, I don't know if I ever showed you guys this when it was clean, but it looked lovely. So. I'm really not sure if you guys have ever been inside of my room, maybe briefly, but you've never really seen it. I'm gonna be starting off in my room because a lot of stuff goes in my room from like the mess out there so it only makes sense to clean this area first so this is an overview of my room as you guys can see it quite mainly is clothes that's the downside of having a lot of clothes a lot of shoes a lot of things in your apartment is it can get overcrowded and messy easily when my room is like this I like to start off with laundry because laundry is gonna be going while I'm cleaning so I'm gonna go ahead and do a load and then start folding my clean clothes. My clean clothes, I'm gonna be folding my clothes into piles. I always separate my clothing into like sweats, leggings, tops, and all that stuff because it makes it easier to put away. So let's go ahead and get started. <music> Thank you. 
another fresh clean load of laundry so i'm just gonna like keep adding to my piles and my piles currently are like sweats things i need to hang up in my closet folding shirts leggings i always organize my clothes by style instead of color <laughs> laundry away i went ahead and cleared off of my dresser i have not seen the top of this dresser without clothes on it for the past four months because i had always kept folded clothes here that i needed to give away i'm not going to use these today but i did pick up these dresser drawer organizers on amazon they're just called drawer dividers and i really recommend them if you struggle with space i'm going to use these but not today because i just want to get the place clean and then i'll go back through and organize organize yeah so i'm done putting away all the clean clothes in my room so now i'm gonna go ahead and pick up more of my laundry off the floor I'm gonna go ahead and pick up all the trash around my room all the bottles that I leave in here this is not even as bad as it usually is I literally always have like six or seven water bottles over there in mason jars because I'm always drinking water Always find books around my room and I am definitely not mad at it. time for the part that i'm most excited for i am changing my sheets i've been wanting to upgrade my sheets for so long i've always wanted that luxurious feel that you get when you spend the night at the hotel so i finally got my brooklyn in box in the mail and i'm so excited to open it up high quality bedding is really expensive and brooklyn in gives you luxury at an affordable price they stand on the fact that people deserve beautiful home essentials without that expensive luxury markup with that being said brooklyn in is also offering my viewers $20 off any order over $100. All you have to do is click the link below and use my code ONGLI. It's going to be on the screen right now. I got the Luxe Hardcore Sheet Bundle and also the Waffle Towel Move-In Bundle. Everything comes packaged really nice and neat. This is like a little Brooklinen tote bag. This is my Luxe Core Sheet Bundle that I was talking about. So there's a flat sheet in here, a fitted sheet, two pillowcases, and then you also get two extra pillowcases. 
and then this is the duvet cover and then this is my waffle towel move-in bundle which I cannot wait to clean my bathroom for they give you a bath mat oh my gosh this feels so soft so it comes with face towels hand towels and then your bigger sets of bath towels the Lux and the classic hardcore sheet bundles can cost anywhere from 200 to 250 depending on the size of your bed so I have a queen so mine are probably around the middle range but comparable luxury sheets cost up to $500 so that is literally amazing we literally spent a third of our life in our beds me probably even more because i work from home so it was really important for me to get some amazing sheets i chose to get the cream color instead of pure white just because i know white is kind of hard to maintain but their cream is still such a classic and crisp color the luxe bundle is more a little bit more luxurious than classic because it has like a sateen finish it's going to be slightly luminous so this type of material the bedding is made from is kind of a little bit heavier slightly warmer so it's going to give you a more buttery soft feel and another thing i love about brooklyn is you can choose to mix and match up to 20 plus different colors and patterns to match your own style i, can, I really want you guys to see the way the bed pulls my room together my bed and it literally looks so freaking cute i am absolutely in love with this bedding like as soon as you touch it you already know that these are high quality sheets once you start using these you are not going to want to go back up this is literally so beautiful and i'm so glad that i got the lux i really do see that slight luminous touch i'm so excited to sleep in these tonight i'm going to tell you guys um after i sleep in them how i feel like this was such an easy process you can shop for your luxurious bedding right at home like i'm going to go ahead and throw my towels in the wash but let me just open them up really quick since we're talking about Brooklyn in anyway and then i'll go back to cleaning my room oh these are so cute this is what the waffle towel looks like it has that waffling i love white towels in the bathroom it just keeps it looking clean and i wash my towels a lot so thank you so much to brooklyn and for sponsoring this video i really do appreciate it i love my bedding so i'm gonna go ahead and vacuum my room now that my bed is made and um place a little finishing touches This is like a customized vase that my boyfriend had got me last Valentine's Day. Like this was so cute. So I just like keep it in my room. Literally, this was inside of it, a fan. How did it? Is that? No. No. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> One thing about me growing up in an African household, like we barely threw things away. That's why I loved when I was living back home in Ohio. Not like at home, but like in the state of Ohio. So that whatever I didn't want inside my apartment, I would just put it in a box and give it to my mom. She would ship them to Africa. She would just be able to find people to give it to. So it's harder when I'm living out here in a state where I don't know anyone because all the clothes that I could give to my little sisters, home decor that I don't even want to use. Like I don't even want my toaster anymore. There's nothing wrong with it. I just want to color upgrade. Like I would just give that to my mom. So if you guys know a place that accepts home appliances and stuff like that that's gently used comment down below i had purchased a new cordless vacuum from amazon this is the insay the first one that i got was this one i didn't really like it too much it wasn't bad it just wasn't great and they gave it to me with dust already in it so they gave me someone else's returns so i'm like no take it back so this is what it looks like the only thing is that i'm not sure oh so let's go ahead and vacuum and try this one out. I don't know how my 
my hair is looking at this point guys so i'm so sorry next thing i got from amazon was this little dior book it's like a little light it's a little light pink one i think i was on the pretty little thing website and i saw it and i um bought it from amazon just because i would get it quicker around like 15 dollars. i saw this tiktok of someone doing um home decor and i really like how they had like coffee table books even in their bedroom but i think i want to just do like miniature versions so this is not really like a home decor video but this is just one touch i wanted to add them let's see she had hers under the lamp what does that look like? Right now my lights are on. I think that's kind of cute. I'll leave it there. I want my home to look aesthetically pleasing, but I felt like I could have a touch of love in my bedroom. So on my bedside table, I like to keep some of my cards from my boyfriend, a picture of us at our anniversary dinner last year, and then this is a picture of me and my best friend. And then this is me and Michael when we did New Orleans. If you guys want to check out this vacation vlog, I'll link that right now. If this is what this area is looking like. I do have a big light in my room, but it's not that flattering, so I don't want to put it on right now. Um, this dresser is from Ikea. This is a 50 inch, what is this one? Um, Samsung TV. And there is gonna be more decor here, but I'm just showing you guys like this area is finally freaking clean. It has never been this clean since I've moved here. Over here, I have some more cards from my boyfriend and then I'll just keep the rest in my drawer just cause I like to look at them. I feel like it just feels homey. And this is where I keep my library books just on my windowsill. I think I think I might try and get some decor from here, maybe like a plant or something. I wanted kind of like a chair in my room, but I do still have like a laundry basket, but low key since my bathroom is huge, I might put a laundry basket in my bathroom. So one more thing that I wanted to show you is that my two bedside table lamps are actually LED lights and I can control them from my phone. It's a little bit hard to see me, but like I can adjust them, like see that one's getting brighter and then I can change the color. But it literally looks so cool in here. Like whenever I have guests over, I'll probably put these like a different color. I kind of want to get the light bulbs in the den, LED light as well for my feather lamp. And I just think it looks so cool. I feel like I look like a boiled egg in this lighting but it's okay like we literally have been cleaning since it was daylight outside and now it's nighttime but it was so worth it like seeing my room this free of clothing i have a lot of space in my room let me say that before i get tongue twisted so i really do feel like i could have a chair in here like a cozy reading chair or something i used to have a mirror in my old room that was like two homes ago but something about mirrors in the room Loki doesn't sit right with me, but maybe if it's not facing my bed, it might be okay. But I'll think of something. I'm not leaving it this empty. I'm definitely going to renew my lease here. There's nothing wrong with this place to me. And I'm still decorating because of all the furniture backups that I experienced at the end of last year. So I'm about to go take a break because I still need to clean the kitchen area. I'm about to go to McDonald's real quick and pick up some flowers from Whole Foods. And then I'll see you guys when I get back. from Whole Foods, I picked up these pretty cute orange and yellow ombre flowers. I am gonna just clean the kitchen really quickly. Well, I hope it's gonna be quickly, hopefully in 25 minutes or less. I'm gonna make it a time lapse just because I don't really think there's really much for me to explain with the kitchen. So I'm just gonna like set you guys back and let you watch me because I'm so tired and I wanna be done cleaning.
like an hour or so and I'm finally done. I'm so happy to be done. I leave my dishes that I hand wash to dry on the drying mat. It's not really aesthetically pleasing, but they will be put away um, tomorrow when they're all dry. I just only wash some dishes by hand and then I use the dishwasher for the rest. The only thing bad that happened is I stuck myself with a thorn from the roses. Yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed the cleaning segment of this vlog. I'm actually, oh my gosh, I'm really tired and hungry. I think my stomach just made a noise. I'm about to go take out the trash from today's cleaning and then eat and then shower and then do a little bit of work on the computer or maybe just relax and save my computer work for the morning since I did so much today. Uh, tomorrow I'm gonna be hanging out with some new girlfriends. My friend Kate is setting up like an influencer slash YouTuber like meetup. So we're all gonna like go and hang out. So that should be pretty fun. So that's probably the next time I'll see you guys because I'm not really doing anything interesting tomorrow until then. I'm really excited to hop in my bed and try out my Brooklyn and sheets. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. She like on a palm, the ain't fuck up the whip with the fuck up range. Me and them niggas in the same type on Make it rain, make it rain I might lose my face, but I gotta keep the cool Cause they know my face I heard a big boy name, but it's this She lacking on the bomb, man